Hello and welcome to Dallas in Wonderland. Today we're going to go to London and have an afternoon tea at the Aqua Shard. And today's tea is going to be themed around Peter Pan. I'm going to read you a little bit about this at their website. Inspired by the adventures of Peter Pan on the island of Neverland, Aqua Shard have created the Peter Pan Afternoon Tea. Drawing on popular motifs from the J.M. Barrie's much-loved novel, the Afternoon Tea will be a fitting tribute to the author and his fictional characters. Innovative treats will be served in a custom-made tea stand inspired by Captain James Hook's pirate ship. The Jolly Roger, which symbolized pirate ships in the 18th century. The ship-shaped tea will have plates attached to the mast to act like sail planks. So the nice thing about this actually is that part of this goes to uh, a charity with partnership of G-O-S-H Charity and it's going to go to a children's hospital. So I'll talk more about this once I get there. So come with me to London and have some afternoon tea. See you there. I also wanted to show you my dress today. It's inspired by the Lost Boys of Peter Pan. dress is by Pigeon Overlord. It's a new a brand that I found and I'm going to be in lots of trouble I'm sure with <laughs> buying lots of their dresses. Lots of Disney inspired and also uh, different characters. Uh, very much uh, pop culture kind of references.
be fabulous. Like five Thank you. Oh, wow. What a view. Wow. Thank you. And here's my little area. I can't believe that. Look at that. What a beautiful day to have this view. So my first impression is I am absolutely thrilled with my seat. Uh, generally they just take reservations for parties of two, but since I'm a party of one, I had to write that in my reservations and they got it. So excited to be here. I am in my favorite part of town and to have a bird's eye view. Oh my gosh, there's an airplane. Huh. So I was just given my menu. The Peter Pan afternoon tea. Like there's no way and here's, it's like a treasure map of the island. Isn't that great? I'll read this off to you. Let's see. For the savory selection, we have a baked pig, an enormous mushroom chimney, codfish Captain Hook. Sandwiches are the Lost Boys, which are roast chicken, crispy bacon, and mayonnaise and mustard. Little Bird, egg mayo, cucumber, chives, and truffle. Ooh, truffle. I do love truffle. We've got freshly baked scones, a vanilla scone, and a golden raisin scone. And for the sweet treats, we've got Peter's Secret Never Tree Entrance, a dark chocolate mousse, raspberry jam, and chocolate sponge with ganache. Hook's Parish Cake, lime green Victoria cake, coconut fondant frosting, TikTok the Crocodile, raspberry and rubolus tree tea jelly, and a crocodile gummy, and Tinkerbell, a sweet pastry biscuit, white icing, and gold fairy dust. We also have two special teas. We have the Darling Tea after the Darling family. It's a black tea with elegant rose petals, faintly sweet with a floral finish, and the Adventure Tea. It has a blend of black tea, sunflower blossoms, mango pieces, ginger, lemon peel, and orange peel. Hmm, which one will I choose? I did order a bottle of the Echo because how could I not celebrate this gorgeous view? Absolutely gorgeous view. But if you wanted just the straight afternoon tea, it's 52 pounds a person. If you want a glass of Pomeroy Brut Royal Champagne with your tea, it's 71 pounds a person. And if you want the Rosé Champagne afternoon tea with a glass of Vic de Co Rosé, it's 81 pounds a person. Oh, and there's also a couple of different kinds of cocktails. There's the Fairy Dust for 16 pounds, Mint and Cucumber Kettle One, Apple Liqueur, Ginger Switchel, Kaffar Lime Leaf Powder, Absinthe, and Gold Fairy Dust, as well as the Never Grow Up Punch, Pineapple Pear Puree, Elderflower Tonic, and Lime Grenadine Float. This looks like it's going to be a great time. Now I have an hour and a half to enjoy my tea, so unfortunately you don't have all afternoon to do it, but that means that we have plenty of time to do other things in London today, which is exciting. So, once again, here's the great menu. So excited. And uh, proceeds, part of the proceeds to this cost goes to the Great Ormond Street Hospital. Part of the proceeds that go towards the, the payment of this tea goes to the Great Ormond Street Hospital for children. So it's just, I think I've heard it's like two pounds or something and it goes for specialist uh, things that need to happen for those children to get better. Uh, I've learned also that J.M. Barry gave his rights to Peter Pan to the Great Ormond Street Hospital before he died. So every time that Peter Pan is played in the theater or anything like that or used for something like this, they get proceeds directly back to the Hop Children's Hospital. So it's it's a wonderful cause as well. I'm so happy to be here. I have some nice sparkly water. And 
if you do want something else, they do have a nice wine list. All different kinds of things. They've got champagnes and regular wines. They have different kinds of spirits as well. A little bit of everything. And there's even bar snacks, I guess, if you're on the other side, not in the afternoon tea side. So I'm going to enjoy my view a little bit. I'll show you some more once I get some more things happening here. But all in all, I am thrilled to bits to be here. Sausage, caramelized onion, and puff pastry. That's this right here. Apparently, Peter Pan loved roast pig. The uh, little bird, which is right here. He is egg mayo, cucumber, chives, and truffle. Looking forward to that. The uh, right here, codfish, Captain Hook. That's deep fried cod with red bread crumbs and a captain's hook. And the all an enormous mushroom chimney right here. Which has to do with the chimneys that they tried to disguise for the Lost Boys little cavern. Thank you. Oh, here we are. Thank you very much. Thank you. And last but not least is the Lost Boys, which is right here, and it's wrapped up in a little paper thing, and it says, no talking to pirates, believe in fairies, think happy thoughts, and never grow up. Uh, perfect. And that is roasted chicken, crispy bacon, and mayonnaise and mustard. I'm going to enjoy my champagne now. <laughs> Cheers to the Peter Pan tea starting off at the Aqua Shard and this beautiful view I have of the Tower Bridge. Lost to boys' rules. No talking to pirates. Believe in fairies. Think happy thoughts. And never grow up. Sounds like a perfect way to live your life. So far, all of my savory dishes have been really, really good. That plate says to me, away with the fairies. I'm on for my sweetheart. I'm looking forward to seeing Captain Hook's pirate ship. Oh, how wonderful. Yes. Yeah, you want to open? Freshly baked scone, vanilla and raisin. I always suggest to start with this first. And then you have coconut cottage cream, apple pot and apple jam, and raspberry jam. We have cut some hooks there on the face. We can cut some hooks there on the face. Tinkerbell, which is a very dangerous tinkerbell. And Captain Hook's remaining British. Excellent. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bear with me while I'm going fairy dust. Oh, okay. I can't wait for fairy dust. Serve on a pirate galleon. Look at this. Clotted cream. Oh, isn't it wonderful? Oh, ready? We've got pirate dust. Yes, of course.
over London. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I have a treasure box here, and it really is a treasure box. Because I know it's inside. Gorgeous. These were the best stones I ever had. They were gorgeous. They almost tasted like a sweet American biscuit. It was delicious. It was so light, lightly. It was like, I haven't had that taste for such a long, long time. And the jams were really nice. And the coconut buttercream, perfect. So my next cake is Hooks. Parish cake. As you can see it, what I read online, Hook's Parish cake is an Australian lamington cake and it's inspired by the pirate's plan to leave large, rich cake, jolly thickness with green sugar on the Mermaid Lagoon, hoping children will eat it before perishing. Well, that is a dark side of Peter Pan. I'm not familiar with that. <laughs> Our next one is Peter's Secret Never Tree Entrance. It's dark chocolate mousse, raspberry jam, chocolate sponge, and ganache. Yep, this is good chocolate. This is the spot of chocolate loving. Now we have TikTok the crocodile. You gotta look at him. Look at him. Isn't he cute? He's a gummy. But he also comes with good stuff. So he is raspberry and robios tea jelly and a crocodile gummy. Oh, he's so cute. He's probably gonna be too cute to eat. I can't eat TikTok. On a side note, I did have to try some darling tea. I really didn't want to leave until I tried this, so I'm looking forward to some darling family tea. So all in all, my afternoon tea at the Aqua Shard with the Peter Pan theme was really fun. I really enjoyed it. And it was like one of those experiences that you just will remember all your life. Just this view, the service has been impeccable. Uh, my server has taken care of my champagne needs from the beginning to the end. And with that, I'm going to say goodbye to the Aqua Shard and the Peter Pan beautiful after GDT that I just had. Thank you for a great experience. It was really a wonderful time. And I look forward to coming back and bringing David with me. See you again soon.
you'll be taken to the next level in just under 15 seconds. When the doors are about to close, please stand well clear and do not expect the doors to stay closed. Thank you. Round 